guys, when you're traveling with kids and you're gonna be using taxis and rental cars and carpooling for school and grandma randomly has to pick up your kid and take them to an activity, what to do with car seat is kind of a big struggle for a lot of parents. And one company that has made it a lot easier is MyFold, who has sponsored this video and who has one of their booster seats in our $1,000 value jackpot on the blog now, link in video description. I'm gonna show you in this video how we can fit three kids across with our MyFold seats and how convenient they are because they are super duper tiny, guys. Look at this. This is one of the new designs. This is a booster seat, guys. Should you get one? Should you replace your car seat with one? Should you skip the high back booster and just go straight to a my fold? Keep watching and I will let you know my thoughts. There are a few key differences from the original to the new Comfort design. And the biggest difference, of course, is the Comfort one has a much more padded seat. This is their new Comfort one and you'll see it's a lot more padded than the original. This is the original, which we got for our son a few years ago. The new one will be more comfortable for longer rides, but this one is like totally fine for just around town or whatever. You can see the original has kind of some grippies on the seat and the new Comfort does not. But on the back side, the new Comfort one has some grippies on the seat part to help it grip better there. Another key difference, and this one is huge, the new Comfort design has this amazing visual guide, exactly how to install it and key points of this is right, this is wrong, because it's kind of tricky the first few times you do it. So you've got to like open it flat and Put this straight to the back of the seat and then you've got to adjust here these come out and these are basically the belt path these are next to your child's legs so you want them fitted snugly to the child's legs not way out not under their butt and the belt is going to come in here on both sides so that the belt is laying nicely across their lap and not across their waist that's one key thing that a booster seat is supposed to get the seatbelt in a safe place for your kids. And the other part of that is here. This part comes behind the kid and the shoulder strap locks in here so that it's between the neck and shoulder and not like, you know, like up here if they had a regular seat uh, without any kind of booster, it'd be up here. And traditional booster lifts the kid up so that the seatbelt is coming at a good spot for them. But the MyFold has this handy dandy strap and this is one of the differences of the original and the new comfort design. The original one opened and snapped shut, okay? And the new comfort design is just slides in and out. And then they both have the same to adjust the height. You just open here and it slides up and down. Super easy. are designed for children who are 40 to 100 pounds, 40 to 59 inches, and at least four years old. The key thing here is that your child has to be able to sit up straight with their back against the seat and their butt back and not be wiggling around and not be slouching. They, they very easily can get out of position in these and that would be dangerous. You really need to make sure that they can sit properly. So my son had some trouble with the MyFold when we first got it a few years ago that he was kind of like slumping. Uh, we didn't feel safe. We just tried him again and my son's totally fine in his and one of our five-year-olds, Emmy, was totally fine in hers. But the third child, Mia, kept like scooching out of it and we kept having to say like scooch back, sit back, sit back. And so I don't know if it's a good choice for her quite yet three kids, right? Like we really can't carry three high back boosters with us. 
if we're traveling without a car and we're gonna be taking taxis and we're gonna be, you know, we can't. Oh my God, three car seats, guys. It's not easy if you have to walk down the block with these. Oh, that's better. We got our three mifolds, woo! And so I'm not gonna say what I officially recommend or don't recommend because um, do what you think is best for your family. But for my family, we're talking not babies here or toddlers, we're talking at least four or five years old here. For my family, probably the choice would be to fly without car seats. And then when we get to the city, we're taking taxis or shuttle buses or whatever and not carrying our huge car seats but thankfully it's not an all or nothing kind of situation. We can do the taxis and very easily have these with us in our backpacks for just like around town or little day trips and stuff like easy peasy and safe and just like really helpful. And if we're talking about your child goes to school and their babysitter picks them up and takes them around town to activities, they can keep one of these in the glove compartment or in the trunk or your kid can even throw it in his backpack and have it with him all the time. Like these are just so helpful because they're so tiny and pretty easy to use. In fact, they are 10 times smaller than traditional booster seats. That said, I officially recommend keep your kids in the best car seats you can afford and that can fit in your car, keep them in there as long as their height and weight and age are not maxed out. Keep them rear facing as long as you can and then switch them to the five point harness forward facing for as long as you can. Don't switch them to the high back booster until like they've maxed out the five point harness. I think these make great backups and alternatives. Next year, our kids are gonna be going to school. We may be working with other parents to carpool for activities after school and stuff. So these would be really helpful to send with our kids in their backpacks so they're always prepared with a car seat if they need one. Because you don't wanna run into the situation where they just like, you know, risking it in a regular seatbelt that's like up to here on them or they like put it behind their back. Oh my gosh, and then they're just wearing that. I think, oh, don't wanna do that. These are really tiny and the price point is tiny as well, which also makes them really helpful. 40 bucks, 40 bucks, that's it guys. So awesome. And um, don't forget, you can win one in our huge giveaway on the blog now. Link in the video description to enter to win.